Today I will show you how to configure SATA pass-through in VMware Server and install TrueNAS. This is not a recommended method to run a TrueNAS in production, this is for home lab use or for testing purposes. Log in to VMware Web UI and under Host, go to Manage option. Next, go to Hardware tab and select PCI Devices option. Browse through the list and look for your SATA controller. As my mainboard have an Intel controller, so I will look for Intel SATA name in the list. Select the controller and at the top menu bar, click on Toggle Pass-Through button. Once activated, the controller's status is now shown as enabled. Now we need to restart the server for it to take effects. Ensure all VM were already shut down prior to the server restart. Return back to Host option, click on Actions button and select Enter Maintenance Mode option. Click on the Next button. Now, click on the Reboot button to restart VMware server. After restart, exit maintenance mode and check the SATA controller status, it now should be in active status. Now, let's create a new VM to install TrueNAS. Click on the next button. Type in a name for the TrueNAS VM for easy identification. Under Guest OS Family, select Other option. Under Guest OS Version, select Other 64-bit option. Click on the Next button. Next is to select the data store location for the VM. Click on the Next button. Then you will need to specify the VM settings, depending on your server's hardware, some configuration will differs. Now to add the SATA controller, on the top menu, click on Add Other Device button and select PCI Device option. Now, you should see a new device is added into the VM settings, which is the Intel SATA controller. Click on the Next button. Click on the Finish button. This may take a while, please wait. Once the VM have successfully created, next is to start the VM and install TrueNAS. For steps-by-steps -steps tutorial, please check out my video on how to install TrueNAS. For more information is available in my blog site, link in the description below. This may take a while, please wait. During the hard drive selection screen, you can see all the connected hard drives on the Intel SATA controller. This may take a while, please wait.
Once installation completed, proceed to restart the VM. This may take a while, please wait. Upon the VM restarted, you should see the console screen is shown. Take note of the highlighted information. Next, on another computer, open your favorite browser and type in the true NAS IP address. Now, log in with the admin credentials created during the installation. Upon successful login, you will see the true NAS dashboard. Next, is to create the true NAS storage pool, on the left pane, click on storage option. Then, click on the create pool button. Type in a name for the new storage, for easy identification purposes. Click on the next button. On the layout option, select RAID Z1 option, or any RAID layout you're preferred. Next, click on the manual disk selection button. At the top right corner, click on the Add button. Next, select the hard drive you want and drag it across the panes and drop it into the new RAID. Repeat the drag and drop steps for all the hard drives. When done, click on the Save Selection button at the bottom screen. Click on the Next button. Leave everything as default by just clicking the next button until the last screen. Click on the next button. 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 Next, click on the, button. Next, click on the Create Pool button. When prompted, select the Confirm option and click on the Continue button. This may take a while, please wait. Once successfully completed, you now are able to see the newly created storage pool dashboard. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.